Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. Here's another tip to help you with your game. If you like this tip, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips. Also, make sure you tell your friends about my tips, because there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. In this tip, I want to show you a way that you can get your head moving as you coil into the backswing. So if you don't know by now, you actually move your head as you coil back in your backswing. So you don't keep your head still. Okay, so if anybody's out there and they've been told to keep their head still, do not do that. You can only keep your head still if you were hitting a ball with your feet together or you were standing on one leg. That's because you would have one axis. So my axis would be head, body, legs together, or head, head, body, leg. If I was like this, I would have one axis, I would turn in a perfect circle. But we don't hit the ball with our feet together. We spread our feet apart. That means we have two bottoms and one top to an axis. So to create circular rotation, I need an axis. So as I go back into my backswing, my head is going to move about three to five inches into the backswing. As I do that, I'm going to be able to coil properly. I'm going to be able to load the weight more on the back leg than on the forward leg. And now I'm in a great position to go the other way. So your head actually moves in the golf swing and they have actually measured tour pros heads. Tour average is 3.6 inches of head movement, whereas amateurs don't move their head more than 0.7 of an inch on average. So amateurs don't move their head, pros move their head. All right, so had a gentleman come out to the golf course or out to the range here. We were working on his swing. You know, I had tried absolutely everything to get him to move his head. <laughs> Two seconds later, he's doing this again. It's like, ah, oh, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close one eye as we hit the golf ball. So just understand it for a second. So a lot of people, I gotta speak in right-handed now. If for a righty, they are left eye dominant. So if that's the case, as you go back into your swing, your forward eye right here tilts like this because now it's closer to easily see the ball. Okay, so it's closer to the ball. You're looking out of this eye. Oh boy, right here, I'm looking at the ball. Yeah, but your whole body is tilted like this. That is called a reverse pivot. So as soon as you do that, now the weight's on the wrong leg, wrong time. Your whole body's leaning this way instead of coiling and loading this way. So a lot of it is due to the person having their forward eye as the dominant eye. My back eye is my dominant eye. So for me, this looks good. When I hit the top, I'm looking at it, you know, more with my uh, right eye instead of my left. So it's easier for me to coil like that. Again, if you're forward eye dominant, it's a lot harder because you have to change perspectively or the mental visualization of how you're watching the ball at the top of the backswing. So it's a whole change of how you ever, you've ever even looked at it. You gotta imagine, if you've been looking at it like this, it looks a certain way. Now, if you go like this, it looks completely different. So, I had this gentleman out here, couldn't stop uh, keeping his head tilted the wrong way. So I said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close your forward eye. Within two seconds, he started moving his head. Okay, and don't get, yeah, I had absolutely tried everything with him. So I closed the forward eye. Instantly, he started doing this. Now, it is definitely different. It's kind of weird because the ball actually looks smaller <laughs> when you do that. Like if I close this eye, my forward, that ball looks really small. If I go like that, it looks normal. So he didn't mind. He just kept doing it over and over and over. And he got used to just closing the forward eye and making some swings. 
all of a sudden head started moving he started hitting amazing shots and that's why i put this on the tips list because this was absolutely you know a huge breakthrough i don't i don't know if i'd ever tried that with anyone because i i can usually get people to move their head but for this gentleman you know i was willing to try anything and it worked so maybe give that a try so you know what you want to do just try to understand if you're left or right eye dominant you know if i go like this and i hold my finger right here and out in front of me and then i change eyes when i change to this eye my finger just moved like two inches over here right here my finger's pointing at the camera okay so i'm looking at my finger like that right at the camera now if i close the and switch the eye my finger moves so i'm actually looking at it out of my right eye so I'm right eye dominant. You'll see what I mean. So it's a check like that. Just you, you'll, you'll, you should know by now if you're right or left eye dominant. But you can do that. You can take a look at your swing in a window or a mirror. If you go like this and you hit the top of your back swing, just look at your eyes. If, you're, if your whole head and everything is tilted like this, you're going to be forward eye dominant because you're trying to look at it out of your forward eye. So I'm going to go like this and my eyes are going to be more level because I'm looking at it out of my back eye. All right, so check that first. Also, check, like just do a practice swing like this. Look at the side of your ear right here and then look at something in the background. So the mirror would be right here. Just do a back swing like this. If you don't see your head move three to five inches and you see your head still, then you got to work on this. So hopefully, you know, you've been working on trying to move your head, but, you know, a lot of people still have trouble with this. So if that's you, then just close your forward eye, okay, so close your eye, and then just do some swing. Like, why would you look at it like this? You'd have to look over your nose, you'd see your nose, and then the ball. So if I went like this, back eye went like that, see my nose is in the picture here. So why would I do that? I'm not gonna do that with this eye closed. So I'm gonna go like this, because I need to see the ball. And that's why it worked with this gentleman. All right, so just a little, I don't know if it's a trick, but <laughs> you know, just a, another way to get you to move your head, especially if you're having problems keeping your head too still. And like I said in the very beginning, do not keep your head still. So whoever's out there telling people to keep their head still, and somebody, you know, if somebody says that to you, do not do that. Your head moves in your golf swing. Once you start moving your head, you will hit the ball so much longer and better than you ever had in your life. You'll wonder why people tell you to keep your head still. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.